Hi guys, um, I'm just going to give you a quick um, tutorial how you can install or how you can access to any of your cloud service or any of your servers where you can ping, basically ping using SSH, it's a secure shell, uh, it's used port number 22 there are many ways to actually connect to your service, one is using passwords um, so I got two servers that I've just set up just to make sure just give you a quick demo how it's done so these are the two servers right so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let's say we're gonna assume SSH server 1 as the remote one and Linode 31560 as a client one so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're gonna act uh, this server as a cloud uh, this server as a client so uh, what happens is uh, basically you just need SSH keys to actually um, uh, uh, to, to, to access these service so what I'm in my case I've already I already have created SSH keys so what I gotta do initially is I will just log in using a password here so if you because um, it just it just requires password and I can actually log in right so that, that that's one of you and one of the ways to actually access it so if you uh, want to use SHS using keys so you just need to create a um, basically you just need to create three keys uh, there will be a two keys but there will be other files as well so the basic command is this is as keys and T R S A. so it just it will just create give you a key since I've already created the keys I will just give you a quick demo how you can do so um, what I will be doing is first of all Mm. Uh, I will just copy these keys here so since I can access to this using password uh, we can access using password so well, once we have um, um, the keys, you don't even need to put in any of your passwords later on. So, what I was trying to say is, uh, what I'm trying to say is, let's say, um, okay, these are the keys. Once you create, this is okay. I did this already. This is a private key. This is a public key. Uh, I just copy the keys from public key and then, now I'm going to save that one um, in a folder called SSH since it doesn't have any SSH folder what you can do is uh, you can either create your SSH folder by yourself manually like this um, and uh, create a folder called authorized keys create sorry create a file what it does is it will just save whatever you need so you just save it here right quit now if you see this one you should see the probably key from my iMac right so um, now if I exit, now if I try to connect using SSH, it won't. It shouldn't be asking any passwords because these keys will be working as a authentication technique. So now you can see we. It's not asking for any passwords because initially it was asking for password. Now let's say it won't even ask for the password. So okay, now we can access right now. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm just logged into IP one one six right now. What I'll be doing is I will be trying to access to server one from this server. 
So this is the server that I'm in uh, with uh, IP address 172. Now I'm going to try to access to um, the other server that I just saw. Okay. Uh, as before, as I've said earlier, uh, initially, always you should be always be using password method unless you got uh, that option to save your SSS keys while you uh, create the Linux operating system. So uh, since it's in Linode, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be initially logging in through passwords. Okay, um, now what I'll be doing is uh, I will create SSS keys just to, I will create a SSS key here, which I and they will be public and private. So uh, we'll save the public key we just created to the destination server's authorized keys. That means um, there will be private key in the local server and private uh, public key in the um, cloud server. So basically, private and uh, public key will be used to authenticate while doing a cross uh, while you be while doing a connection there um, so uh, okay this is our source and this is our destination so uh, like before let's check if there's any SSS folder okay there is nothing so what we're gonna do initially here is we're gonna create SSH key. So if you see here, okay, uh, what I'm trying to say is now if I try to log in from here, it, it will ask for the password. Let's say I don't know the password, right? Or let's say you don't want you just don't wanna just don't wanna tell others. Okay, you are going to give that access to others and you don't wanna let them know your password. So what you're gonna do is uh, in the in the client one, you just need to create SSS keys. So what you there are many ways to do that one. The easiest way is SSS dash hyphen SSS hyphen key gen T R S A. So once you do that, it will just tell you into the file in which to save the folder. So basically, these are the default ones. Uh, so that's what I use. That's what most of the people use. But if you want to say in seven um, many ways, you can do that one. Just if you want to even give the passphrase, you can give that one. But it's not required because it's already a secure connection. Now, if you see, there will be um, private key, public key that's been created. Now you can actually go to SSS folder. And you can see there are four uh, uh, files that's been created. This is a public key, this is, so this is a public key, this is a private key. And these are the authorized keys, means that's where if somebody tries to connect the server, that's where their public keys are saved. So what I will be doing is I'll be just copying public key here. I will just copy the public key and okay we are trying to access the server right I will just show you an example if I try now it will ask for the password now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use SSH key we'll go to the destination one and uh, we're gonna create SSH key here itself so that it's just create it just um, makes an authorized keys files while creating SSH key. So there's keys in the RSA. So just key by default. Now it will should create SSH keys, and if you see here, there are two uh, files itself. So now what we need is authorized keys. So you just create it. You can use touch. So I'll give you the basic with touch. Uh, keys, it will actually create a full file here. Now what you need to do, you just need to save um, the same one, which is the public key. You just save it. Now you can actually see um, 
you should be able to log in through SSH. Uh, what was the process? 172.104.58. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Read. Okay. It's, it's actually it can read. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I just put the wrong username. That's why. Okay. Do you see? Now you can log in without even um, needing any passwords. You can actually check all of the login details here itself. Go to etc's, uh, sorry, go to versus log. You can actually see everything here. Um, you can actually read how, how they are trying to connect to your service. So uh, if you see the recent one, uh, you just got trying to get okay, public key for root from from port 47832 to so that's what uh, I just uses so UID zero um, this is the other details that's that's how it's being connected so uh, that's how it works so that's all for now guys um, I'll be uploading some more videos which I love to share with you guys in coming days so that's all for now thank you very much